Are you unhappy with your throttle response? Out of the hole, mid-range, top end? If there's room for improvement, I have the solution. I'm Gail Banks. What happens when an engine guy, or even better, a turbo guy, does a throttle booster? The new pedal monster is the throttle booster with a brain. It's the most intelligent and safest throttle sensitivity controller available. Here's the reality. We spend most of our time coming off the line, merging with a trailer out back, maneuvering in traffic at part throttle, or working some cool stretch of mountain road. Till now, you've been the victim of some group at the factory and their predetermined pedal profile. Here's what's cool. Pedal Monster allows you to precisely select just where the power comes in and at what rate. Today's cars and trucks are drive by wire. When you push down the pedal, it sends a signal to the computer to open the throttle. The problem with drive by wire is that manufacturers often build in what we call sponge pedal, looking for that last tenth of a percent of fuel economy. In doing so, they soften up the response and take away 50% of the fun. Pedal Monster gets rid of that lag. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Let me explain. First, you select the transmission type, stick or automatic. Then you choose your driving mode, city, sport, or track, each of which have 10 pedal profiles. Here's how it works. The pedal monster intercepts signals between the pedal and the vehicle's computer. Then it modifies those signals based on the mode and pedal profile you choose. You know there are quite a few throttle boosters on the market, and almost all of them have something in common. They're not safe. The biggest safety issue with modules like these is that if something goes wrong, you're instantly left with no pedal. It's like you took the pedal and threw it out the window. Well, hell, I guess we don't need this pedal. This is where Pedal Monster is different. It utilizes the same active safety health monitoring circuitry that we use in all our inline tuners. All pedal sensors send two or more signals to the vehicle's computer, one rising and one falling. This redundancy is done for safety. Pedal Monster is constantly looking at these signals. If it sees something out of spec, it returns the pedal to stock. Another fatal flaw with other throttle boosters is that they draw current to power the module by tapping into the pedal circuit itself. In many vehicles, like Mopar cars and trucks, for example, that five volt circuit doesn't have enough electrical current overhead to safely power any additional circuitry. Apparently, some of our competitors have a problem with this. <laughs> so we've got the check engine light on. The truck just said engine power reduced. What do we do to this thing, bro? What did you do? I didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> Maybe this pedal commander wasn't a good idea. We solved this by supplying this guy, an OBD cable powering Pedal Monster via 12 volts from the OBD port, where there's ample current capacity. Since we're on the OBD port and capable of communicating with the vehicle's computer, we added vehicle speed sensing, giving us adjustable low speed trim and on stick shifts, smoother clutch engagement. And selected gear sensing gives us reverse safety. These are important safety features no other throttle device has. This is called speed based trim. So you can select kind of that, that response and the level of response under 10 miles an hour. So I don't want to have to disable the system every time I'm loading the back of the, the bed up or towing a trailer. I can select this, set it and forget it. Under 10 miles an hour, stock throttle response. And because Pedal Monster knows what gear you're in, it automatically returns to stock pedal sensitivity when you're in reverse. Reverse is not something you want to get too spicy in. Modules like Pedal Commander have no clue what speed you're at or what gear you're in, so they're just as twitchy in reverse as they are in drive. Easy. A two year old could do this. And when you combine it with an iDash Data Monster or iDash Super Gauge, you can control the pedal monster right from the gauge. And if you're wondering, will this affect my warranty? If that's a concern, when you remove the pedal monster, it doesn't leave a footprint. We've got them for cars. 
We've got them for trucks. We've got them for naturally aspirated, supercharged, and turbocharged. And it'll put a smile on your face. <laughs> I swear, it's so responsive now, I barely even touch it. If this sounds fun, hit us up at bankspower.com or reach out to one of our hundreds of installing dealers. <laughs> this is city? <laughs> what sport? <laughs>